Today I'm going to show you how to install a, a starter on a Polaris 500. It's actually uh, not too terrible. Um, right now I'm fortunate I've got the uh, um, gas tank off and I removed the air box already. So you're going to want to remove the air box. So what you want to do first is there is... 10 millimeter bolt here, and that's where your power is hooked up to. Before you even attempt that, obviously make sure you disconnect the battery. So you take that off, the 10 millimeter bolt, and then uh, I already loosened some of this up just for uh, video purposes, but there is another 10 millimeter bolt here, and another one, let's see. I'm going to be able to see it with the slate. The other one right down there. Let's see if I can get the light position right. So I got these loosened already. I got my ground wire right to here. Pull that out. There's the ground wire. Get that out of the way, and then now you can see the other one. There's another bolt down here. Before I remove that, I just wanted to show you something. Pull your uh, flywheel cover off. Make things easier because uh, that's where your starter gear comes in. And this little guy, which I think is my problem. Okay, so I'm back to the other side again. So I loosen this one, it's a 10 millimeter bolt. So it's a little bit of a pain to get to. And uh, so you got that goofy hole or uh, vent that comes out, I remove that, which is a pain in the butt because Polaris put the clamp on the wrong side. You have to come in from this side to get to it with this cover in the way it's really quite the chore. Okay, so I got the screw mostly out. I'm gonna have to flex on this a little bit to get it out because it's a longer bolt. So once you get that out of the way, this should just pop right out. It's, a, it's the O-ring holding it in place. get a screwdriver and pry on it. Alright, so there's a little ring right back in here. See that? And this guy is really seized on here, so I'm gonna wrap on a little bit with a hammer, see if I can't get it to pop off. She was definitely on there stubborn. I really had to pop and pry and she came out. It was all pretty rusty around that edge. I'm gonna clean that up. I actually had to wedge that pry bar in between that hole and here and wedge on it pretty good back and forth for about five minutes. That's why I cut the film. So I'm gonna clean this all up and I'm gonna show you how I install it. Okay, so now with the starter out, I just rotate this this way, I can pull this out. This is okay, um, but seeing I got a new one with the kit, I'm going to replace it. Put a little grease on there, tap that in there, there we go. I got my new one. Move that bolt off the starter. I actually had to leave this bolt in <clears throat> because it was just a little bit too long. So I'm going to leave it halfway in and shove this back in. 
Before I do that, I'm going to put some grease around here so I make sure that it's able to slide in and out. Okay. So with this all greased up, I even greased up the gear, my bolt right back here. You should just be able to push this back in. It'll drop through that hole. Bolts in the way here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna have to set the camera down, but I'll be pushing this back in while I'm pushing it down. Got it shoved into place. I'm just gonna wiggle that in. Make sure that your gear is lined up with that gear. And then you just do the reverse. You uh, tighten this nut up. Put your ground wire back on. Put that other bolt on right there. And then you'll hook uh, your power up to your starter. Put your cover back on and you should be good to go. There's not much to it. I'm sorry if uh, my uh, um, <laughs> my video wasn't the greatest. Uh, it's kind of a tight spot. Just wanted to quick show you how it was done. Um, get the gist of it. There's really not much to it. So, uh, if you like my videos, um, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, hopefully you guys learned something. Uh, I just do this as a hobby and uh, hope to help you guys out. And uh, who knows, maybe one day I'll make some money off of YouTube. But... Um, Subscribe if you uh, if you liked it. Um, I have other players fixes on here also, probably about 40 videos. Um, anything from two strokes to four strokes. Um, I don't know, pretty much anything you want to know. So thanks for watching and uh, hit the like button if you like it. Subscribe, I appreciate it. Um, until next time.